गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विद द नेक्स्ट लेसन दैट इज एंगल्स एंड पेयर्स ऑफ एंगल्स नाउ वॉट आर एंगल्स वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ एंगल्स हाउ टू नेम द एंगल्स दिस ऑल थिंग्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड सिंस अवर फोर्थ स्टैंडर्ड ओके सो क्विकली वी विल टेक अ रिविजन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द न्यू टॉपिक वॉट आर एंगल्स वेन टू रेज they intersect at a common point then such a figure is called as angle two rays they intersect at a common point and this common point is called the vertex of the angle the point where these two rays they meet each other this point is called as the vertex of the angle and these two rays they are called as the arms of the angle arms of the angle now write the name of the angle shown alongside so many a times students get confused while writing the name they write acute angle now this is an acute angle it is true but they have asked us the name of the angle and not the type of the angle type nahi pucha hai yaha angle ka naam pucha hai whenever we ask you your name so you tell us our name you don't don't tell us whether you are a girl or a boy okay so name is different and type is different so we have to write the name of this angle so how to write the name of any geometrical shape first always write down the name of that shape so what is the name of this shape angle so what is the symbol of angle a small acute angle pura word likhne ki zarurat nahi hai a n g l e no need of writing the whole spelling you can write the standard symbol and this is the standard symbol of the angle word now how you will write the name of the angle start from any one point on the ray so a b c or c b a always remember that vertex should be in the middle of the name don't start the name from b okay always start from the point on the arm of the angle so a b c or angle c b a name of vertex should be always in the middle here now write the name of its vertex vertex means this point so first write the name of the shape point b vertex is point b write the names of its arms which are the arms ba and bc ba and bc are the two arms of the angles write the names of the points marked on its arms which are the points present on the arms the points are a and c so point a and point c so these two points are present on the arms of the angles now also you know that there are seven types of angles which we have already studied in our sixth standard so quickly we will revise first type is zero angle when both the arms they lie on each other when both arms lie one upon the other then that angle is zero angle whose measure is zero degree then this is the acute angle greater than zero less than 90 this is a right angle means angle of 90 degree measurement then next is the obtuse angle obtuse angle means greater than 90 less than 180 next is the straight angle means both the rays are exactly opposite to each other then that angle is a straight angle whose measure is 180 degree next is called as reflex angle greater than 180 less than 360 greater than 180 less than 360 and last one is when both the rays complete one round and 
they lie on one another then that angle is called as complete angle and measure of a complete angle is 360 degree so these are the seven types of angles now we will start with our new topic interior and exterior of an angle interior and exterior of an angle now interior means what inside something interior means inside and exterior means outside so interior of angle means in the interior inside area of the angle means the area which lies between the two rays okay this is this portion is called as the interior or inside of the angle and the area which is outside the rays this area is called as the exterior of the angle so in the plane of the figure alongside the group of points like point n point m point t which are not on the arms of the angle form the interior of the angle p q r what is the name of this angle angle p q r and all these points they are present in the interior of the angle and exterior of the angle which points are present point g point d see they have everywhere written the word point point g point d then point e and also point s which are neither on the arms of the angle nor in the interior okay these points are not present on the arm and they are not present inside the angle that's why they are the exterior of the angle they are present in the exterior of the angle interior and exterior so here in practice set 15 we will solve this question <coughs> points in the interior in this figure which are the points in the interior of the angle point n point x point c and point r so point r point c point n and point x these are the four points present in the interior now which are the points in the exterior c r t u q v and y so point t point u point q point v and point y these are the points in the exterior and last one is points on the arms of the angle means these are the two arms so which are the points present on the arms point a then point g and this is point b point g and point b both are present on the arms of the angle understood interior exterior and on the arm okay now our next topic is adjacent angles next topic is adjacent angles adjacent means what the meaning of the word adjacent means beside our something okay hamare baju mein suppose adjacent house means hamara neighbor neighbor wala ghar okay adjacent means baju wala so whenever we talk about adjacent house or adjacent buildings means what something is common between these two things okay or if we say our adjacent classroom in our school so adjacent means baju wala room but when we say adjacent that means something is common between those two classrooms so what is common between the classrooms when we say adjacent classroom so the common thing is one wall is common between two classroom ek diwar rehti hai jo dusre classroom ki bhi hoti hai aur hamare classroom mein bhi hoti hai 
so when wall is common or when we say two adjacent rooms in our house then there also one wall is common between the two rooms so when something is common between two things then we say that they are adjacent to each other ek dusre ke baju mein hona in the same way when we talk about adjacent angles now observe this figure here one angle is angle b m q and other angle is q m d so what do you observe in these two angles they are adjacent to each other but why we can say that they are adjacent angles to each other see here first thing is the vertex of both the angles is same both the angles have same vertex common vertex means here the vertex is m so m is the vertex of angle bmq also and it is the vertex of angle qmd also so they are having a common vertex okay m is their common vertex now second point is that they are having a common arm also common arm see here mq arm is the arm of this angle also and mq arm is the arm of this second also so common arm is there common vertex is there now the third very important thing is that the interior of both the angles are separate they are different okay imagine two classrooms two adjacent classrooms so the interior of one classroom will be totally different and interior of the other classroom will be totally different ek classroom ke andar ka portion andar ka area alag hoga aur dusre classroom ka interior area puri tarah se alag hoga only one wall will be common so here mq is the common arm and the interior of this angle is this portion and the interior of this angle is this portion so when two angles are there which have a common arm a common vertex and separate interiors then such two angles are called as adjacent angles okay but if we talk about angle b m d this big angle complete b m d and if we talk about angle q m d okay angle b m d and q m d are these adjacent angles no angle b m d is having the vertex m angle q m d also have the vertex m so vertex is common now m d arm is present in this angle also and in this angle also means one arm is also common but their interiors are not separate because the interior of angle qmd is present in the interior of angle bmd ye angle ka interior bade wale angle ke interior mein hai means unke interior separate nahi hai that's why these two angles bmd and qmd they are not adjacent angles because they do not have separate interiors so which are the adjacent angles two angles which have a common vertex a common arm and separate interiors are said to be adjacent angles three things you have to remember for adjacent angles common vertex common arm and separate interior then those two angles are called as adjacent angles now practice set 15 name the pair of adjacent angles in the figure below now in this figure this angle b n a angle b n a and angle b 
एन सी बी एन ए एंड बी एन सी दे आर एडजस्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज देअर कॉमन वर्टेक्स दिस इज द कॉमन आर्म एंड इंटीरियर्स आर टोटली सेपरेट इसका इंटीरियर ये है इसका इंटीरियर ये है सो एंगल बी एन ए एंड एंगल बी एन सी अनादर पेयर बी एन ए एंड सी एन ए ये और ये एंगल बी एन ए एंड एंगल सी एन ए एंड द लास्ट पेयर इज दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल दे आर ऑल्सो एडजस्टेड सी वर्टेक्स इज एन आर्म इज कॉमन सी एन एंड इंटीरियर आर सेपरेट सेपरेट सो एंगल ए एन सी एंड एंगल सी एन बी सो दीज आर द थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स नाउ इन दिस फिगर दिस टू आर एडजस्टेंट एंगल सी वर्टेक्स इज क्यू पी क्यू टी पी क्यू आर क्यू इज द वर्टेक्स PQ is common arm for both the angles and interior are separate separate so angle PQT and angle PQR these are the adjacent angles and some more adjacent angles are there in this figure no only one pair is there now the next question are the following pairs adjacent angles if no state the reason we have to see whether these pairs are adjacent angles or not so the first one angle p m q p m q means this angle this full angle p m q p m q and r m q r m q means this angle and this angle so they are adjacent angles see m is their common vertex mq is the common arm mq mq and interiors are separate pmq means this interior rmq means this interior so they are adjacent pair of angles next is r m q and s m r when one angle is inside the other angles then they are not adjacent r m q and s m r vertex is common and one arm is also common okay m q sorry m r and mr one arm is also common but interiors are not separate okay smr means this interior and rmq means this interior means smr ka interior rmq ke andar hi hai separate to nahi hai that's why this is not an adjacent angles next one is rms r m s means this much r m s this much and r m t r m t again r m s r m t ke andar hi hai so they are not adjacent vertex is same r m is the common arm r m r m but interiors are not separate so these are not adjacent angles and the last one smt okay smt means this one s m t and the next one is r m s yes they are adjacent r m s means this one and smt means this one so their interiors are separate arm is common sm ms and vertex is also common mm so rms 
एस एम टी दे आर एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स सो अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग ऑफ एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स प्रैक्टिस सेट फिफ्टीन यू हैव टू सॉल्व इन योर नोटबुक अंडरस्टूड थैंक यू